Hello everyone, this is our latest model Katana Decoder SIP22. As you see, it's designed, it's same with our um, HU66 and HU92. And of course, um, the usage methods are same, which are very simple about how to use our HU66 and HU92 we have been introduced in our uh, previous videos and this time we only introduce SIP22 um, this is a reset tool before each opening we um, we need to make sure the pins are in the original position. Um, after, the, after the lock successfully opened, the pins positions will be changed. Now the pins are ready. Okay. Uh, this is a test key and it will help us find out the correct orientation to insert the decoder later. Now we're gonna try to open this lock. Firstly, we need to uh, clean the lock. WD-40 is necessary. We insert the test key. The dirty inside will affect the success rate of opening. Okay, we try to move front and back. One, two, three, four, five. And another side. One, two, three, four, five. Each side five times will be fine. So that uh, we can pull out as much dust as possible. And in next, we um, we need to find out the correct orientation to insert the decoder, and it is very important. Uh, we need the test key again. Okay, we insert test key. Make sure it is fully inserted on another side. Uh, we need to find out which side goes deeper okay which side goes deeper and apparently this side goes deeper okay uh, before you uh, insert the decoder make sure here you can see uh, arrow symbol make sure the arrow symbol here is in the same direction as the decoder side with the text okay the arrow symbol side should be same with the text side now we uh, push the blades to the button And uh, insert, insert the decoder slowly. Okay, fully insert it. Pull out the blades. Okay, we can open it. Hold the handle like this. Press here lightly. I play uh, some tension to the right. Uh, it doesn't need too much force and also it can't be too small. It's a um, kind of medium force. Then we rotate at the um, beginning. The angle of the rotation should not be too large, for example, uh, first time we just rotate about 60 degrees. Now we, re we release the knob and turn it back. 
um, in the next each rotation we we need to add five degrees in here here you can see the scales on the decoder now i place some attention to the left rotate and add some decrease at the same time release turn it back repeat um, you can feel the resistance during every rotation and don't rotate it all at once be patient okay okay keep rotating while at some uh, degrees um, sometimes we go on for a while and then start worry about whether it is working or not and usually we can uh, we can pull out tool okay we pull out tool we take a look check if the pins have moved Okay, the pins moved, you can see it. The pins moved. Okay, let's continue. Insert the tool. Apply attention. Rotate, rotate. Rotate, rotate, repeat. When all pins, okay, it's open. When all pins reach the opening position, the lock will be open automatically. Okay, it is open now. Perfect. Push the blades to the button. Take out, take out the tool, and uh, we can read the code. Three, one, one. 3111 I think another side another side is uh, another side one one two three uh, if you have a Kikati machine enter the codes so that you can uh, uh, you can cut a new key Uh, before you go open another lock, you need to reset the pins, like what I'm doing. Reset the pins to the original position one by one. Okay, you can see the pins now are very far away, which means the decoder works well. Okay, that's all.